This time, the map looks pretty standard. However, thanks to our friend Caleb Sutton for his suggestion, we have done something horrendous. Maybe horrendous. Possibly horrendous. The majority of Christendom is Nestorian. It should be an interesting one because we'll see if Catholicism or the Orthodox Church can make a resurgence in this area or if by this point it's already past the tipping point. Our first prediction is that the mending the schism decision is still possible as a Nestorian ruler. Unfortunately, I have a feeling even though that there are uh, enough rulers to probably make it happen. One ruler needs to control it all, and I think the Byzantines would be able to do it. Unfortunately, I'm going to say the AI is not going to be able to mend the Grand Schism. The Holy Roman Empire will be the grandest. They'll probably take over all this area in due to course. non nestorian religion will be uh, Ashari. So with that out of the way, let's get to the time lapse. I'll see you in a bit. In eighty-seven years in the future, we have a humongous Byzantine Empire, a fractured Middle East, a fractured Europe, a united Britain, and a just a wild assortment of things. So let's let's look around the map and see what's going on. Looks like they've gone ahead and uh, finished the Iberian conflict, which is nice um, for them, I guess. And they've gone ahead and vulcanized their lands. Um, Galicia, you sick, sick dog. I saw what you were doing in France. It's not tolerated, should not be tolerated. Uh, Lotharignia is seemed to be taking over where the HRE has kind of left off. It's funny that Bohemia and Bavaria have also kind of like similar shapes going on here. Britannia, what are we doing here for a while under this one family? Uh, yeah, for a while. Uh, I also saw that Norway at one point owned a lot of this land. I wonder... It felt like they could have 
form Scandinavia. I think they were just short on uh, owning Denmark or probably some some other lands or they probably would have been able to put it together. But then, yeah, answer our first question and see if Nestorian was supplanted by Orthodox or Christianity or if they went ahead and destroyed everybody and was the best faith ever. Looks like it's the latter. Um, they've gone ahead and taken over how many counties? Uh, 1400, roughly 1400 counties and pretty much run every other Christian faith out except for Coptic because they couldn't get quite them eliminated but they were they making inroads you can see they were making they were making things happen it's interesting with the eastern syncretism uh it adds an interesting element that a lot of these eastern faiths you can see sometimes when the mongols they converted yeah it looks like you see this a lot the mongolians switch because it's seems like a, a reformed religion that they're like we need to switch away from being uh these boys look at culture real quick if it affected culture that much or if it just pretty much stayed pretty similar um it's uh, hard to say a little bit of some changing in here but for the most part looks like a lot of the things stayed exactly languages next just to see oh my so the greek greeks are the most spoken language and then berber maybe next after that but it looks like the greek language is uh, on its way to lingua franca if it had another couple like hundred years it probably could have made that happen uh looks like a lot of houses have become also god carlings are still alive that's disgusting oh wow wow do you see this actually let's go back i'm getting my mind blown right here do you see this all this land got um supplanted by the mongols uh expansion um, took over all the the Mongol states became a thing now that uh, changes the empire face when that happens obviously also this is just disgusting as as we all know um, but yeah I think we should look one more time at the top military strength it's yeah it's the, the Byzantines and then it's this uh, empire of our kingdom over here and then where's this ah, it's the Iberian Empire the British the French and where why is the this empire so weak i wonder i'm more if they're yeah they're having a bad time because they're in a ton of debt because they just fought a huge war probably so what we've learned today is that once it seems like it hits a critical mass the faith is easier to spread amongst everybody and is more likely to spread amongst everybody and that just because you're live in a certain area doesn't mean you're going to revert to the area's religion so we don't see christianity popping up or, or sorry we don't see the catholics popping up again we don't see the orthodox popping up thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to tell a friend about this because you know if they you were entertained they'll probably be entertained and that's all i have for you ciao